Cancer. Hello, welcome to your reading for the first half of your month of March, 1st through the 15th, 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's get to it, yeah? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on for Cancer? First half of March, 2018, March 1st through the 15th. Cancer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I lost focus there for a second. <laughs> it was totally off and something completely different. Okay. Cancer. Focus, Eric. Focus. Cancer. Okay. So maybe, maybe, are you guys, are you guys in a bit of a dreamy state? Are you daydreaming a lot lately? Hmm, let's see. Cancer. Cancer. One more shuffle for you, Cancer, and then we'll get to your story here. All right, let's cut the deck. Let's see what we got for you. Overall, ooh, we're starting with the Ace of Wands. Hmm, big old passion. Brand new passionate something is starting. Hmm, that feels good. That feels real good. With strength, ooh. And the Five of Cups mm -hmm. with Temperance underneath all that. Okay. So what I'm picking up for you, uh, Cancer, is that um, something in your life influenced a Five of Cups situation, a Five of Cups energy. You were crying over spilt milk. You were mourning something. You were... Um, something left you feeling really, really sad. But I see that you're coming out of it. Now, understand, guys, this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I am reading for a lot of people here. But um, something has inspired you to step out of that energy. And you found some newfound strength. Maybe it was the situation as a whole, all together. Whatever happened that caused you to enter a Five of Cups morning state, has really helped you develop some brand new strength and is now lighting a new fire under you, a new passionate beginning under you, okay? Moving on with your story, we have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the Two of Wands. So whatever has inspired, whatever happened that's inspired you, it's inspired you to move in towards a direction of greater wish fulfillment, okay? I th I'm seeing you are the person on this path faced with these two wands here, this choice of paths to take in order to reach that which you find, in order to reach your wish. And whatever happened with the Five of Cups has given you the strength to now step out on this journey, okay? Next, we have the Ten of Wands, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. So you're, you're burdened by something. Maybe there is an earth sign. Maybe, maybe this situation, um, maybe you're in a relationship, say, with an earth sign. Um, maybe who wasn't as mature as you wanted them to be with the knight. The knight is not is not a king, and maybe you wanted the king. I'm picking up on that. You wanted the king, and you it, down the road, you realized that they weren't as mature or grown up as you thought. And yeah, the knight of cups is still responsible and, you know, steadfast and steady, but it's still not the king, okay? And you wanted the king. And so because of that, you took on a bunch of burdens and it was just too much for you and the situation ended. So maybe maybe we're talking about a breakup here. But in that sense, um, in that sense, you know, you are you, you are leaving that situation with a greater understanding of what would actually be your wish fulfillment when it comes to a relationship. And so now you're better armed to take a new path to get it. I think that's great. Moving forward. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're doing the work. 
you're the apprentice. You're you're taking the steps to heal and become a better and the world. So definitely a major life cycle is ending for you, Cancer. Um, and if this is a relationship like I spoke to before, if this was a relationship where later on down the road, you realize this wasn't exactly what you wanted, but now you know what you do want and you're taking the steps to find it, you're taking the steps to walk that path, you're taking the steps to, to, uh, to improve yourself so that, improve yourself or your situation so that you can reach it, whatever you, your wish is, the world is confirmation that, yeah, that is absolutely coming to an end and you're moving on with your life to something bigger and better. You are actively, now with the eight of pentacles and the world together, I'm being told that you are literally taking the bull by the reins or doing the physical work to physic to actively change your reality the way you see fit. And that I think is really powerful. Finally, on this half of the story, we have the seven of cups. So you're being faced with choices, maybe some illusionary choices. The Seven of Cups with oof, the Three of Swords. Again, this is just talking about um, deciphering what it is you want. It's related, the Seven of Cups is related to the Two of Wands that came up earlier. And now with this heartbreak that you went through, you're seeing the illusions much, much clearer. And also some of you I'm picking up are getting a bunch of different offers. Like you're single now and now all these people are coming out of the woodwork, but because you have this perspective from the three of swords, you're like, you're like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm picking up there for that one, which to be honest, isn't a bad thing. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Just don't be too cutting, you know, don't be so cutting that you actually miss out on something that could be exactly what you wanted. You know what I mean? All right, moving on with the story, we have the star healing healing finding your inner sense of self again and following that inner light with the knight of cups someone's i feel like somebody's going to come around whether it's another water sign or whether it's someone just coming forward with an offering of love there could be an offer of love coming to you in the beginning of march um from some i feel like it's totally out of left field from someone or from somewhere that you didn't even expect it but it's going to turn out to be the wish you had been seeking. And it's so funny because the star and the nine of cups are in the same column. So we're really talking about wish fulfillment here. Either you're going to send a message to someone or a message is going to come into you. I really feel like a message is most likely that a message is going to come into you totally out of left field from something or someone you didn't even expect. And it's going to turn out to be exactly what you were looking for. It may not be exactly what you were looking for immediately, but eventually in the long run, it may very well be exactly what you're looking for. Next, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant. You, hmm, maybe there's a Pisces in your life that's going to be doing this. Watch the Pisces video and the Four of Swords. Shut up. Wait a second. Didn't Pisces get the Hierophant with the Four of Swords? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't remember now. And I literally just did, <laughs> literally just did that reading, and I don't remember now. But um, marriage could be on the horizon. And this is why I'm saying maybe there is a Pisces that's going on. That that could be this wish fulfillment for you because. Um, they're kind of dealing with a similar situation. And I feel like either this is a Taurus cancer. Now understand that Taurus and cancer go very well together, at least on a friendship level. Romantically, eh, maybe not. But on a friendship level, we are like two peas in a pod. And I am a Taurus. And man, some of my best friends have been cancers. Um, but also the here event talks to spirituality. It talks to convention institutions and especially the institution of marriage. And I don't know why, but every time the Hierophant is coming up, it came up for Pisces and now it's coming up for you. I'm hearing marriage. And especially with the four of swords, it's like you're taking a step back and being like, whoa, why do I feel like I want to, why do I want to feel like, a, excuse me, why do I feel like I want to marry this person? Is that really a good idea? 
especially underneath the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, whatever that situation was that you were with somebody and they just turned out to be something that you didn't think that they that you thought they it, they turned out not to be what you thought. And now you're being faced with a situation again where there is a potential, there's a partner, there's someone coming into your life and you're already starting to feel like, holy shit, I could, excuse me, excuse my language, but holy moly, I could totally marry this person. And you're like, whoa, with my history, let me take a step back <laughs> and think about this for a second. With what just happened in my life, let me take a step back and think about this for a second. Which really isn't a bad thing. Just don't spend too much time thinking about it. At some point, you're going to have to act, all right? But maybe there's a Pisces that you're doing this with. Hmm, it's entirely possible. Moving forward, we have the Tower. Oh, oh, oh. With the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, now I'm not seeing that there is um, a new Tower moment coming. What I'm seeing is... This, this is speaking to what I the the scenario that I mentioned where someone turned out to be something that you uh, didn't expect. They weren't exactly what you thought they were, and that absolutely could have been a tower moment. The moment you realized, oh no, this is not what I thought. But ultimately, understand what the universe is saying to you here. Whatever whatever that means for you. Um, Whatever the tower moment means for you, it's facilitating a Ten of Pentacles situation, okay? Because it's helping you clear out the things that are blocking you from reaching ultimate, ultimate material completion, whether that be a business opportunity, um, a job, whether that be a, a, a domestic relationship, um, that kind of thing, a romantic partnership that turns into marriage, what we were talking about here. If you are interested in marriage, if you do actively want to get married, this could also be the Hierophant with the Four of Swords could be you saying, okay, I want to get married, but how am I going to do that? And the tower moment came around and like shook some things up for you. And now you have a greater perspective, a greater opportunity to achieve this Ten of Pentacles because the tower is helping you clear away that which is keeping you from getting it. Okay. Finally, in your story, we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, following the tower, that makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Brand new information, right under the third, three of swords, too. That's really, that's really cool. But the ace of swords with justice. Oh, yeah. Especially following the tower, something, something was illuminated. Something shook up. Something got shook up. Something got trashed, <laughs> destroyed. And new knowledge came of it, which is allowing you to do greater justice within your life for yourself in whatever way that means for you, Cancer, okay? Um, but yeah, justice either has been served or is about to be served. And if you haven't gone through a tower moment yet, it it's coming. Like there could be a tower moment within the first two weeks of March if you haven't already experienced it. And don't give, don't, and I'm saying that to say, don't be afraid because it's only going to help you under, have greater understanding with the Ace of Swords. And then it's going to help you bring greater justice to, to your life. Um, last thing, I was just drawn to the number of justice and it's number 11, which is a f twin flame number, like the twin flame number, really. So, especially with the Ace of Wands and your overall energies and with Temperance here, because Temperance, if you're familiar with the Twin Flame journey, Temperance is uh, balance, it's union with your twin and also with yourself. But what I'm picking up here is the tower moment could very well be that moment you meet your twin or that moment that you realize that you are a Twin Flame and maybe you haven't met your twin yet but you know you want to, the Ace of Swords, which would then bring justice into your life, or at least facilitate bringing greater justice into your life, which could also be why feelings of marriage are around, because the twins ultimately want to marry each other. The star, wish fulfillment, some of you may be entering the twin flame journey, and if, I, and if you are, welcome. Get ready. 
I am on the journey myself. And let me tell you guys, it is not easy. I'm not saying that to scare you. I just want to prepare you. It's not easy. It's really rough. It's very difficult at times, but my goodness, is it fulfilling. All right. There it is, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for your last half of March reading later on. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.